Magic the Gathering is a complex strategy game that has laid the foundation for almost every modern TCG. With a huge pool of cards and a diversity of colors, Magic has given rise to different styles of play, or as we call them, archetypes. Regardless of how you like to play, there's an archetype and deck that can fit your playstyle. The first and fastest archetype is aggro. As the name implies, aggro focuses on aggression to close out games early before the opponent can establish a solid footing. Often using chief creatures and direct damage spells, aggro decks want the game to wrap up early, or at least put the opponent in a bind where almost any card you draw can be lethal. Second are mid-range decks, which are often the jack of all trades, master of none. They toe the line between aggressive decks and slower decks, looking to play aggressively when needed, or a slower, more methodical game if called for. They'll often employ early disruption to stabilize, then land resilient threats to close the game out over time. While they'll never be the best at dealing 20 damage or staying alive for 20 turns, their flexibility makes mid-range decks highly appealing. If you're looking to stay alive for 20 turns though, Control Decks aim to do just that. Rather than focus on winning as soon as possible, Control Decks look to just stay alive and win as an afterthought. Most of a control deck is filled with answers to opposing threats, such as counter spells, single target removal, or even board wipes to stymie an early onslaught. Control decks want to use as few slots as possible to win the game and keep their deck full of answers and lands to cast them, using maybe a planeswalker or two to win, or even a land if possible. The last major archetype breaks all traditional conventions and goes straight for the throat. Combo decks don't typically care about the ebb and flow of a game, but rather try to play their own game of solitaire and execute a game winning line as soon as possible. Unlike aggro decks, which play to the board and try to win through fair means, combo decks are looking to put two and two together to win on the spot. It could be a combo that goes truly infinite, like Splinter Twin and Deceiver Exarch, or just a way to give you an insurmountable advantage, like reanimating a Gristlebrand ahead of schedule. There's a huge amount of combo decks across all formats of Magic, and each one closes out the game in a drastically different way. Archetypes may overlap sometimes as well. Sometimes a combo deck will implement a backup plan similar to aggro or midrange if their combo isn't successful, or if the opponent's packing the right tools to stop it. Occasionally, aggro and control combine to create tempo decks, putting down a cheap threat or two, then answering the opponent's plays while they ride their creature to victory. Midrange decks can play aggressively with the right hand, or control the board if the game calls for it. It's easiest not to think of archetypes as firm guidelines, but rather a spectrum that a deck can move across. No matter how you approach a game, Magic offers an archetype to fit your style. If you like optimizing your plays to sneak in quick wins, aggro is for you. If you like completely dominating the board, control calls your name. And if you're somewhere in the middle, you can of course trust Midrange to work for you. Regardless of how you get your win, make sure to check out TCG Player and Channel Fireball to find the archetype that's right for you.